How's it going guys, it's Rich Yankee here and in today's video we're going to be talking about Google Now on Tap. It's a new feature that's going to be coming here in Android Marshmallow very soon. I think those firmware images are supposed to be released and hopefully the source code on October 5th. So this is something you're going to be seeing a lot more of and I like this feature a lot and actually you can already use it here on the Nexus 6. If you have the developer preview installed, they re-enabled it. It was on for a little bit, like a two days, and then they turned it off, and now you can use it again. So I'm gonna show you basically how to set that up and enable it um, through Google Now, and then show you some examples of how Google Now on Tap works. So let's go do this. First things first, let's show you guys how to set up Google Now on Tap. So to do it, you're just gonna hold your home button and you actually have to have a Nexus device that supports this. This is the Nexus 6 and it's on the developer preview. But basically you go in here, this is Google Now. And to turn on Now on Tap, you go into Settings right here. And then you go into Voice. And right here you can see a Now on Tap little slider. So we can go ahead and click that on, say Turn On. And that's pretty much it. Now, Google Now on Tap should be functioning for you. There's another thing that's pretty cool in here. You can turn on OK Google detection on anywhere on your phone and go through some voice activation things to set up that if you want. But um, I think that's been in there for a while. But that's basically how you get Google Now on Tap in a setup and functioning for you. So now when you hold your home button, it's going to come up with this. And it looks like it takes a screenshot. And then it tells you, well, for here it says nothing on tap. But if you want to look at things that are on tap, I'm going to show you some examples of them that are really pretty cool. So for example, this is a email I've got from YouTube that is telling me that my video is uploaded. Okay. If I do now on tap on this right here, it takes this screenshot and comes up with some information. So YouTube videos, it gives you a bunch of different things you can get about YouTube. It sees that it has a Samsung Galaxy phone in there, so it gives you some different features there. You can go to websites, images, news, or Google. Very easily takes a cool screenshot. Let's try another one. So here I'm going to show you YouTube. This is just my YouTube homepage, so it's giving you your recommendations and stuff. So same thing, if you click on this, it's going to look through all that information. It says, okay, we've got things about Conan, you can see some things about websites and stuff like there for Conan. Got this guy in here, Dodge Charger, B-Body. I mean, it just searches anything on the screen. Um, the, probably some of the coolest things it comes down to is like, for example, in videos. So here is the uh, Google Play videos. And if we scroll through it, you can hit it on anything. And what it's gonna do is again, it's gonna search that. So it says Seven Sons. And you've got Google, YouTube, Images, Cast. You can go to Cast, and this is going to open up Google. And you can see the cast of the uh, show or the movie, which is just really cool. Or see more. And you can see all, all the cast. So just the functionality is instant Google searching anything on your screen is basically the concept. Um, let's see if I can show you another one that's pretty cool. Um, hey, I'm going to show you a message and show you something with some information in there. So here's kind of a cool one here, guys. This is another email. Here's a phone number on it. It says GoDaddy. So if we, again, if we do the same thing, we can go ahead and do Google Now and tap. And one of the things it does is it takes, obviously, it sees the phone number and says, okay, there's a phone number there. Is that a phone number you want to call? And then lets you call it. That's It's just cool. So now you can call that 24-hour support line very simply and very easily. So here I've got one last one. Just sent myself a Hangout message. And I'm just curious if I if they can search um, this Walmart just out of curiosity. So I'm going to hold it down. And it did. So it at least found Walmart. And you could probably go to the website. And there you go. So... Very interesting. So it basically works across all your applications, and that's probably the coolest thing about now on tap is you can be in any application, tap it, and hopefully it's kind of I've seen about 75% of the time it brings up some information as to what you're looking for. It's it's supposed to be predictive, and I'm sure it's going to get better with time and use because they're going to be tracking 
Google's going to be tracking things that it's doing on your device to learn your patterns. So I'm looking forward to it. Definitely a cool improvement here with Android Marshmallow or Android version 6.0. Well, there you go, guys. That's going to wrap it up for me here on this video about Google Now on Tap. This is a feature that I think is going to become super useful and very, very handy. And as they build the database behind this or Google builds a database behind this, this is really going to become an integrated feature that we're all going to love, I think. Um, so I'm looking forward to that and looking forward to using it a lot more. It's just, just the, the instant access to searching things on your screen just makes a lot of sense. So looking forward to that. Let me know what you guys think in the video description and down below. I will um, definitely be doing more coverage on Android Marshmallow. As soon as those firmware images get out, I'll be installing it on my Nexus 6, Nexus 9, and any devices that are supported that I can show off the new features of this awesome new operating system from Google. So stay tuned for those videos. Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Check out the links in the video description down below for all my social media. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Rude Junkie out.